All right, Buenos Dias, mis amigos. Uh, Wedden105-1919 has a great comment here. He says, Someone told me all children go to heaven, and they get it from Matthew 19, verse 14. So let's go there. Matthew 19, verse 14 says, But Jesus said, Suffer little children, and forbid them not to come unto me, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. But I asked her, what's the cutoff age? She said that only God knows. All right, so that's a problem. All right, so this teaching that children, all children go to heaven, is as wicked as anything that's taught in the world today. And I have to remind people again, two things, one, that Jesus is asked, what is the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And the very first thing he says is, take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I, Jesus, am Christ, and shall deceive many. And this is another example of that. The deception in the world is absolutely out of control. All right, in 1 Timothy 3, verse 16, I think it is. I could be way off, I'm not sure. First uh, Thessalonians 5, I was way off. <laughs> Prove all things. Hold fast that which is true. Alright, so prove all things. Prove whatever it is that you're teaching, prove it. All right. And of course I want to point to... Uh, Ecclesiastes 12 verse 13 let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter fear God and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man all right so again I have to go to John chapter 3 and I wonder if people even read now, obviously they don't understand what Jesus is talking about here when they claim that all children go to heaven. All right, number one, it's wicked, and evil, and cruel, and stupid to say that children don't need the gospel. All right, and to say that they're saved, and then they're not saved once they reach a certain age, that's stupid. All right, because that, that eliminates the grace of God. It's it's stupid. Right, you're saying that God does not have grace and that God turns back on his word. He says to say that God says, well, these people have everlasting life and then they lose it. That never happens, ever. Once you're saved, you're sealed, secure, sanctified forever. All right, and so also you're implying that, what well, you know what? You better kill your children if there's any um, any sign that your children might not be saved when they're an adult and you're actually saying that it's a good thing to abort your child under the assumption that they're going to be saved but if you let them live then they're going to lose their salvation it's stupid no matter how you look at it all right. Now, in John 3, Jesus says, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And Nicodemus, he says, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto thee, ye must be born again. 
All right, so in the, my response to Wedding 105-1919, I say, I quote that verse here in Matthew 19. Jesus said, Suffer little children, forbid them not to come unto me, for of such is, as is the kingdom of heaven. In Matthew 18, Jesus says, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Again, in Matthew 13, talking about the parable, the field is the world, the good seed are the children of the kingdom, implying that we that are born of God are the children of the kingdom. Matthew 5, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. We are the children of God. There are so many examples to give, none of which suggest children don't need to be born again. The fact of the matter is, when we are born of the Spirit of God, we are the children of God. And as we see children and how they are, so also ought we to be full of joy, eager to learn, always obedient, and filled with love. So teach your children the gospel. They need it just like you needed it.